It's Kent Pierce is on the phone right now with the very latest. Kent, what's going on? Yeah, this is a big warehouse. It's an info shred warehouse that collapsed uh, about two hours ago. Fortunately, no one was hurt. This did not come as a surprise. For one thing, we've seen lots of roof collapses in Connecticut over the past couple of weeks. But for another thing, the fire department was actually called out to this same warehouse yesterday afternoon. Employees heard creaking and groaning of the structure. They brought in an engineer who told them, yeah, you've got to get the snow off the roof. They had started the snow removal operations, actually, yesterday. It involved bringing in a crane and some other equipment. It was a big process. Uh, they had started but hadn't finished. They kept a couple of employees nearby in an adjoining building overnight just to keep an eye on things. They heard much more noise this time, about 3.30 a.m., went out to see that the main warehouse had collapsed in on itself. So it's a complete loss. This is a warehouse about the size of a city block, and it has all just crumbled in on itself uh, this morning. Fortunately, nobody was hurt, but this is just another example of how heavy all this snow and ice can be and the damage it can do. Nobody hurt. A warehouse collapsed in East Windsor, live in East Windsor. I'm Kent Pierce, News 8. All right, Kent, thank you. We'll keep you up to date on that situation there. Also breaking news in Cromwell right now. Evacuations are underway at the Apple Gardens condo complex, which is right off Route 3. We also have a crew on the way to the scene there. We'll get some information for you in just a moment. They're getting an update from police and firefighters. We'll take you there live very soon.